Good evening, everyone. I'm happy to introduce our speaker, founder of Noble Transformation Hub, self-taught computer scientist and artificial intelligence scientist and super conscious expert who worked with global Fortune 500 company, General Electric and Wipro Technologies. He has been doing transformation skills development programs and research on business case studies, 21st century skills, future skills and technology research from the last 14 years globally. He has done 400 plus business and technology trainings, programs from Harvard Medical School and Harvard University, other organizations. He spent around $75,000 on his career and courses, certifications and global project based skills. He has been doing research on computer architecture, quantum computing, artificial intelligence, blockchain and future technologies. He believes in win win decision making and achieves the goals, objectives as per the lifelong vision. Also, he is an active athlete. He has been participating in Wipro runs and other marathons for the last 10 years. I humbly welcome Dr. Noble Arya, sir, starting this event, Reinforcement Learning Use Cases, organized by AI and Robotics Club. Now I request everyone to keep yourself muted. And at the end of the session, we will have the Q&A. Thank you, sir. I hand it over to you now. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. And I, 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 I'm really honored to uh, share my experience and skills and knowledge with you guys because you are future leaders and uh, we all need to work towards uh, this mission to create uh, new innovative technologies, applications, projects and all these things. NLP, natural language processing. So. In NLP, RL can be used in uh, text summarization, question answering, okay, machine translation, just uh, to mention few, okay, then the author of this uh, paper is this, uh, this is not my research, I've just, I've taken this and I'm giving credit to, uh, and uh, this is the, like, this is the model which is for NLP, how you can use NLP model. Um, and this is the research done by, uh, there are a couple of scientists who have done these research. And um, so their, uh, their method works for the first, selecting a few sentences for the document that are relevant answering questions. So it is detailed summary that how, uh, you can use NLP for natural language processing, uh, how you can use uh, reinforcement learning for text messaging, and uh, then, um, then you can use it uh, like um, a, a combination of supervised and reinforcement learning. You can combine uh, uh, supervised learning, also reinforcement learning for what? To use abbreviative text summarization in prep paper in this paper. Like Grammarly is an example. Grammarly uses such technologies where you, it makes your uh, grammar correct, sentences correct, and uh, it gives you output. And uh, it's, a, it's a good company also. Like they, they're focused on this thing only very deep and that's it, that it's working well for them, okay? Uh, you can you can see that uh, how they are using it, okay? And uh, reinforcement learning application in healthcare. You can also apply in healthcare. Uh, like healthcare, how you can apply it? Patients can receive treatment from uh, policies learned from RL system. Okay, earlier, like you, you went to a hospital, you don't know where are your document, no record, no data. There's no uh, consistent data, no. So here, when we use uh, reinforcement learning in application of in healthcare, what will happen that we'll have a database, we'll know and we'll predict future diseases also. We'll be proactive when we, uh, when we use reinforcement learning and we'll know that what kind of food one should eat. Is it organic? Is it uh, nutritional? Uh, so all these aspects, and which right now people don't know. Okay, there are hidden things which we, do, we don't know. Okay, and we can use uh, reinforcement learning in healthcare. In RL is able to uh, 
uh, find optimal policies using previous uh, experiences without uh, the need of previous information on mathematical model of biological systems. Okay, it makes this approach more applicable than other control based systems in healthcare. RL in healthcare is categorized uh, as dynamic treatment uh, and uh, like for chronic, critical, or automated medical diagnosis and journal. There's, there's also a, like they have created a, a new instrument to detect the pulses. Uh, with the machine learning, they have created an artificial intelligent uh, kind of uh, uh, machine which can detect uh, deeply, will give more uh, perfect information about your body. And uh, so this is this is the structure. You can take a screenshot of it. RL, uh, it is dynamic treatment regime, chronic diseases, cancer, diabetes. They have classified all these things critical data structure. These are all, uh, they have classified all this health management, drug discovery. All these are the classifications of all these. So you can use reinforcement learning in healthcare. Okay. So these are the like, then in uh, DTRS, uh, the input is a set of clinical observation and assessment of patients. Like you have an, uh, a clinical observation and then uh, the output are the treatment options for every stage. These are similar to the state in RL. Application of RL in DTRS is adventurous because it is capable of determining time dependent decision for the best treatment for the patient at a specific time. Okay, you know, life is changing every second there's a time series every time time is changing and you know when we find solutions for the problems whatever solutions you find pro for the problems it's always changing you cannot have a constant solution for a changing problem okay you cannot have a constant solution for a changing problem so that is why we need to be lifelong learners we need to have never ending attitude towards learning and it's continuous learning and that's what ai agents and reinforcement learning and artificial intelligence is better at and we think only that i want to do mb i want to do phd i want to do this just and then we stop and that is the biggest mistake which we human beings do it's continuous learning it's always learning, lifelong learning. So when we are lifelong learners, we always find solutions for the problems which are changing, 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 changing. Right now, every second, there's a change. Can we have a constant solution for the changing problems? No, we need to be constantly learning new. New, as Einstein said, you cannot have a same solution for the problem which uh, like you cannot have a same solution for the problem which was like older which was earlier you can you cannot have the same solution you, you have to reinvent a solution but there are universal principles which we have to follow okay we need to understand them concepts okay the application of uh, like uh, i've already uh, said that See, I was explaining, I went very deep into the, like when there are changes in our body also, changes happening, this disease, that disease, this disease got cured, now next disease. So how can we design an algorithm for that? That's a real challenge. So for that, what we need to do is we need to create such um, reinforcement learning applications, which learn from all these uh, patterns and uh, then we have continuous solution and with reinforcement learning there's a solution that once reinforcement learning agent has learned the completely the system what will happen that then it will uh, like it will always find new solutions for the problem which are changing continuously because every time there's a change in in plants, in animals, in flowers, in atoms, atoms are revolving.
evolving, you know, as uh, planets are evolving, uh, human being is grow they are growing, uh, plants are growing, everybody is changing, streams are like river is flowing, everything is changing. So how can we find solutions for changing problems? We can use AI technology, we can use reinforcement learning agents and use this for humanity. Like from ages, we are not able to tackle these problems. Now we can. But if it's like fuel, are you if, how we are going to use it for humanity? That's the main objective. Like we should serve humanity with these technologies rather than it goes against humanity. Okay. RL has also been used for discovering uh, and generation of optimal DTR as for chronic diseases like you know you can use proactively uh, these technologies reinforcement learning for like after 10 years if there is going to happen a crime machine learning algorithm will determine that and control proactively and after 10 years if i am going to have diseases how need to work on that we need we are leaders we need to create such technologies you guys after 10 years you will tell me that okay this is the technology which is invented by american german or uh, chinese but why can't we do it now we invest our time government has a lot of resources start up india all these uh, projects why can't you guys go and start think out of box think go and challenge the status quo and think such technologies if we have and that is the future